So data loss is not acceptable and Microsoft takes that very seriously. That's why for SharePoint Online, Microsoft has released a new feature which is called File Restore. We're going to talk about mm -hmm. that feature mm -hmm. in today's video. So welcome back to Help Me Coder, the channel which talks about technology and helps the coder community out there. So how many times it has happened that you have lost an important piece of a file or information from SharePoint? I bet most of us would have faced this situation and definitely this situation is not one of the best moments. Nowadays, organization relies so heavily on SharePoint that they store all and everything onto this platform. Now losing information from the SharePoint platform can be catastrophic whether it is a single document or you have a large number of documents or it can be a whole document library as well. Hence, Microsoft has baked a lot of different strategies on how you can recover these information. So these strategies, depending on what kind of information you lost and amount of information that you have lost, these strategies are well in place. This new strategy called file restore is one new weapon in the arsenal of file restore options that we have. We will see into detail what this new file restore option is, but we will also cover all the different strategies that Microsoft has so that you can restore your important piece of work from the SharePoint Online. So now we look into the SharePoint Online recovery landscape that we have. We will do discuss about file restore, which is a new option that has been provided by Microsoft. But I want to go it into a sequential manner where I will go from the very granular recovery that we can perform to the full site collection recovery that we can do. So let's start with versioning first. So versioning helps you to create multiple copies of a same file. So if you are working or collaborating with many people or even if you are working alone on a same file, then any change that you make on the same file and once you save that, a new version of the file gets created. You have to but define how many versions you want to keep and you have to enable versioning on that particular library as well. On a granular level, any content changes on a particular file or any addition has been made but you don't like that addition then if you want to remove that addition you can use a previous version to restore your existing content so versioning helps you recover that information so how do you see that so if i'm opening my sharepoint online this is a sharepoint online website i have this file called hello docs inside a document repository now if i click these three dots over here you will see that there is an option called version history so when you click on version history, it will show you all the different versions that are stored over here. You can very well click on a particular like, for example, I can go back to version one over here and I can say basically I want to restore it. I want to view it and I want to delete it. So now the second option in the recovery landscape for SharePoint Online is the two stage recycle bin. So one is the first stage recycle bin where when you delete a particular file, it goes into that first stage recycle bin. So if you have edit permissions on that file, then basically you can recover yourself that particular file from that recycle bin. Now, if you delete that file from first stage recycle bin, then that will fall into the second stage recycle bin, which can be recovered only by the site collection administrator. So the total amount of days that the file is kept is 93 and uh, it is inclusive of both stages of recycle bin. So for example, if you delete it uh, from the first stage recycle bin after 80 days, then remaining 13 days, it will be present in the second stage recycle bin after which it will be permanently deleted. So. So this is my SharePoint online and I have a file, the same file I worked earlier. And if I go ahead and delete this particular file, like, like just delete. So this goes into the first stage recycle bin. Now, how do I recover it from there? I just go on to settings icon. You can either go to the site content, which you can go from here as well. So from the gear icon, you can just go to the site content and then there you will see this recycle bin option over here and if you go into this recycle bin option you will see that the file will be present over there which is like this hello dot docs now you can straight away go and click this particular file and you can restore but now for example for some reason so this can be restored by 
all the users who have added permissions on that particular file so if it gets deleted from this recycle bin then even if you have added permission and if you are a normal user you cannot restore it back you need to contact the site collection administrator if you have permission you can go ahead and look for second stage recycle bin so if i click on second recycle bin you see that this file is again present over here you can go ahead and click restore so then once you do that it will be available into the document place where you firstly deleted it from so in the recovery landscape what if if you delete the site the whole site as such or the site collection so what if you delete that so sharepoint online uh, owner who has can access the admin center can go into the admin center and can recover the site or the site collection as a whole from there again it stores there for uh, next 93 days so between that period you can do recover your uh, site or site collection from there let me show you how do you do that you can also use powershell to do that so for example this is my site and if i go to the admin center over here i click on the admin part and if i show all so this is the sharepoint admin center so once i reach this sharepoint admin center you can see there under the sites heading you will have a deleted section so click on the deleted section once you click there you will see that that this site this particular site has been deleted so what i can do is i can select this and either i can permanently delete it or i can restore it so file restore option has been rolled out for sharepoint online and microsoft teams and this is basically a completely self recovery option uh, where a site collection administrator or site owners can recover uh, a particular document repository or a file to a point of time uh, in the last 30 days so if your uh, repository has been hit by a ransomware or has been corrupted or there has been a malware infection recently then what you can do is you can check uh, go into file restore and you can check over there like the point of time where your file was working fine or the repository was working correctly then you can move just the slider to that point of time and you can restore your repository at that time so it will move back to the time where it was working fine now the site owners will see this restore this library option once you are inside that library so let me show you how does the file restore option work so if you click on the gear icon over here on the site you will not see that option over here right now because uh, it works not on the site level but on the document repository level so for example if i go into the document repository that i am working on so this is a document repository and maybe for some reason there is some malware infection on this repository or there is some other reasons or there are like lot of files that have been deleted and i don't know which one to recover which one to not so what i can do is i can restore to a particular piece of uh, i can roll roll this document library to a point of time where things were working nice as per my knowledge so what i will do is i can go to gear icon and i will see this option called restore this library when i click this restore this library you will see that there are uh, there is a drop down over here where you can choose like where you want to restore it back to like one week ago uh two week ago or three week ago or something like that and then basically you can click on the restore button or you can use the slider as well right now i have i don't have much of changes in between these dates so this that's why you don't see a lot of uh, bars moving up and down or what i can do instead of that is i can just say custom date and time when i say custom date and time you get to choose these click you get to click this uh, uh, tick marks over here where you to the date and time where you want to move this so these are the dates that you can see over here and uh, then you can click on restore or you can even just select one week or three week like that so the last option in the recovery landscape is the microsoft backups that microsoft takes but you can't do the recovery yourself for that you need to raise a ticket to microsoft so that they can recover it on your behalf so you have additional 14 days if i'm not wrong to post deletion from the recycle bin that you can request the uh, microsoft team for the recovery this recovery is not granular it is or uh, it is on the site collection level so they will not send you a single piece of file they will just send you the whole uh, site collection recovered site collection to you and then you have to manage which one 
which of those files inside you need or don't need that you can do it yourself so i hope you would have loved the different recovery landscape options that microsoft has to offer uh, with sharepoint online from very granular like file level to a full site collection level recovery and definitely you would have loved this new feature called file restore that microsoft has launched where you can go back to a particular point of time and recover the whole document repository if it has been hit by uh, some malware or ransomware or even if there are a lot of deletions that has happened and you don't know which particular point you want to go to so you can go to a particular point of time and get the whole full document library restored do let me know in the comment section below what you feel about this video and about this new feature that microsoft has provided thanks for watching and happy coding until next time